quickly introduce um, my organization uh, and, and the reason why we are here. So um, the Aspen Network of Development Entrepreneurs is ideally uh, a network of organizations that support small businesses. So all our members are supporting what we refer to as small and growing businesses. So um, I think earlier there was somebody in the lady from Angola was asking about how we define um, this missing middle. Everybody has a different definition. So this one is ours. Uh, we define a small and growing business as a business um, that employs anything from five to 250 employees. And in terms of their growth capital requirement, they require anything from $20,000 to $2 million. Now this is close to what the OECD um, also defines as, as the missing middle. Uh, maybe say for a few few numbers. Um, and the reason why we focus on these businesses is because we feel that they are the ones that receive the least support, but they have the most potential. So research has shown that they produce the, the, the most good quality jobs and they have the potential to create the most jobs within emerging economies. So that is why we, we focus on them. The other way we can define them is a business that is too small um, for traditional commercial capital, so they would not be attractive to a traditional private equity fund manager, for example. They're not looking to invest in, in, in a business of this size, uh, but they're still too big for microfinance, and we feel that that segment of um, uh, the business uh, market is relatively well served. So all our members are supporting businesses that fall within that category. Um, and this is just a simple illustration of who our members are. So they are either capacity development providers who are investing uh, knowledge, resources, and capacity building, uh, or they are investors investing capital uh, or, or financial instruments, um, or they are academic institutions or um, sector associations, uh, are also members of and these are typically those associations that are working with um, small businesses or aggregating um, small businesses. Uh, and we also have a few corporations that join Andy because they are interested in supporting um, the small businesses within their value chains. Um, so in, in a nutshell, that's, that's who we are. So I'm going to hand it over and we'll go to the next uh, presentation um, to Johnny. Johnny, you're presenting next. Is it working? Yes. Um, hi, uh, my name is Johnny. Uh, I'm the founder of Growth Africa. Uh, Growth Africa uh, is an accelerator, but well, we do a couple of things. But uh, the reason I'm here uh, today is uh, because of our accelerator. Um, we were founded back in 2000, uh, pretty much on the back of um, me starting out as an entrepreneur here in East Africa uh, myself. Actually, my first business was uh, here in Uganda that I started back in the, in the late 90s. Um, and Growth Africa really, in many ways, is an organization that is, is founded on uh, my own experience and my two partners' experience uh, and the need that we saw to, to help entrepreneurs. Um, we've done this in various ways over the last 14 years, 15 years, 16 years. Oh my gosh, the years are clocking up very fast. Um, and uh, are currently um, looking to, to expand uh, our operation throughout the region. Uh, and I'm happy to be here in, in Kampala because in, in March we will be launching our first program uh, to take place here in Kampala. And actually applications uh, for entrepreneurs to apply for that program uh, has just opened today. Um, so if you're an entrepreneur and uh, you want to, to look at our program, then uh, do this on our website. Um, well, I do hesitate a little bit calling ourselves uh, an accelerator because uh, I think a lot of, there's so many different definitions of what an incubator and an accelerator is, uh, and I'm sure that that is uh, going to be some of the things that we're going to talk about. But really, uh, for us, uh, what that is, is, is really a number of interventions uh, that seeks to, to bring the entrepreneur uh, and the uh, founder team up to a level where they are investment ready, uh, whatever investment ready means. But really, at the end of the day, that is for, for investors to, to determine if they are ready. Uh, the previous panel did talk a little bit about the fact that some entrepreneurs are not ready. Uh, they either don't know their business well enough, they don't know their market well enough, they don't know different aspects uh, of their business and their environment and their reality well enough. So that is, at the end of the day, what we are seeking to, uh, to establish with our entrepreneurs. 
we don't dwell very much on supporting activities uh, for the entrepreneurs. We don't provide any legal services. We don't provide any uh, administrative services. We don't provide any accounting services. But what we do provide is a fundamental shift in their understanding of how they should run the business, how they should think about the business and their ability to diagnose the obstacles that they're faced with for growth. What we've seen over the years is that entrepreneurs are often very good at a very particular thing in their enterprise. And they're often very bad at seeing the reality around them. So having frameworks and tools and systems to actually do that, and do that in a continuous way so that they build up uh, in an iterative process uh, their understanding of their own business and the reality that it operates in, uh, in our experience has led to, to a strengthening of, of our entrepreneurs' business model. Uh, and that's something that we've seen uh, being reflected by, by a lot of the investors who are coming in at various stages and, and supporting our entrepreneurs that once they engage with, uh, with these entrepreneurs, the types of organizations, or the types of conversations they can have with these uh, guys is very different from before they, they went through uh, our program. So we have essentially uh, two ways of engaging entrepreneurs, a six month uh, startup accelerator program um, that are taking them through all the basics, so to speak, a uh, very intensive um, process. And then we have, for the ones who subsequent to that are uh, lucky enough to, to, to raise seed funding, we have another 18 month program that essentially takes them through absorbing that capital in a responsible way and leads them up to a, a multi-million dollar Series A uh, type race, um, type round. Um, that's pretty much it. There's a few bullet points there on, on what it is that, that we focus on. Another aspect that I think is, I wouldn't say it's unique, but something that we appreciate a lot is the peer learning component. So the fact that if you put entrepreneurs with some experience in a room, they tend to learn as much from each other uh, in a facilitated conversation as they do from, from the facilitators, the trainers, the mentors, the coaches, um, and, and that's, that's quite unique. So that's something that we focus on a lot. So everything that we do is in a cohort uh, setting, so we typically bring 10 to 12 startups together um, in, in part because of, of the peer learning process um, that happens. Uh, we have our own, as I mentioned, we have our own methodology, uh, we call it the Impact Compass. Um, and for those of you who know the, the business model canvas, uh, it essentially is the business model canvas, same kind of learning methodology, but just six times wider and seven times deeper. Um, and that kind of uh, founds uh, the, the basis of the exercises that we're taking on uh, entrepreneurs through the framework that they eventually end up having. I, I guess uh, that's the end of my presentation. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had another slide.